Hello, you just have to let me know if you can hear me because this is my first time. I have no clue if you guys can hear me or not. So just let me know. And I also cannot see you, so. Great, so just a minute till I Okay, so uh, let us begin. As I told you, this is my first time doing a complicated uh, live session. So I don't know if the infrastructure is good enough and uh, the camera angle is good. But uh, since everything is a learning experience, um, it's always nice to start somewhere. Okay, so just give me a thumbs up if it's all good. If you can see me and if you can see the board, just give me a thumbs up and let me know. Okay, so we will begin. <clears throat> we will begin like we usually do by singing the Guru Mantra. So join your hands. <clears throat> Inhale. Om. Guru Brahma, Guru Vishnu, Guru Devo Maheshwaraha, Guru Sakshat Param Brahma, Tasmai Shri Gurave Namaha. Okay, so today we will look at some terms from Sanskrit grammar, sorry, not grammar, the pronunciations. Okay, uh, so why I thought of doing this uh, live is number one because I wanted to experiment with Instagram live uh, and number two because I hear many yoga teachers including those born in India and knowing a little bit of Sanskrit that their pronunciations are challenging, are not proper. Now why I would not generally insist on a good pronunciation but with Sanskrit it is very crucial. That's because Sanskrit is a language that changes along with sound. It's a sound based language and because it is a sound based language, the, the tone, the emphasis, the way you pronounce a certain syllable, a certain letter matters a lot. I will give you a simple example. <clears throat> the term karma K A R M A. We all know this term karma. Okay. Now I have heard many people not pronounce the R. Now when you don't pronounce the R, 
इट बिकम्स काम वेन यू डोंट प्रोनाउंस द आर इट बिकम्स काम दिस वर्ड बिकम्स काम एंड देर इज अज डिफरेंस बिटवीन द टर्म कर्म एंड काम कर्म मीन्स एक्शन एंड काम मीन्स लिमिटिंग डिजायर सो यू सी इवन इफ यू कैजुअली डोंट प्रोनाउंस द आर लाइक आई हर्ड मेनी पीपल से काम योग नो इट इज कर्म योग ओके एंड दिस इज वेर द यू द द मीनिंग ऑफ द टर्म कैन कंप्लीटली गो हे वायर एंड कैन of course lead to something completely different and uh, this is why i thought of reaching out to all of us with a simple live session like this whatever we can learn we will try to learn in that uh, <clears throat> is this okay till here i'm going to go and check because my camera is not uh, facing the screen okay seems like okay so i'll just proceed now <clears throat> coming to sanskrit language like every language there are vowels and consonants and consonants this is there in every language the difference in sanskrit is like for example in english we have a e i o u five but in sanskrit what happens is there are many more vowels more than five and the tone or extension of the tone changes like for example in sanskrit we don't have only a in sanskrit we have short a and long a okay let's try to understand this properly because today we are going to look at um terms with the sound a okay so in sanskrit there is a and a or a and a okay like a e i o u like in english we have a so like a for apple but a for arms you see so the a is the same a but the pronunciation of that a changes but in sanskrit the the beauty of sanskrit is you say what you write and you write what you say unlike french like in french you write something and say something like for example champs elise in french you write champs elises but you pronounce champs elise right so in sanskrit we say what we write and we write what we say so there is an a uh, this is called a uh, i am not uh, writing you the in the script so if if it was the script for those of uh, who who are from india here and who have who know the language this is a uh, and this is a uh. there is a big difference between these two sounds and this two sounds are sounds that we encounter often in yogic terms like asana okay i'm going to take you through them but for now just understand this that there are two a sounds in sanskrit short a is called hraswa short a so a and a a short a and a long a 
Now this generally people who don't uh, study the script, they don't know this. Okay. Now same with the sound E. There is a short E and a long E. There is a short U like A, E, I, O, U. The short, there is a short U and a long U. So the U is written like this and a long U. So there are many vowels in Sanskrit and most of those vowels have dual tones in simple language we can say dual tones but for now just understand this that the a sound in sanskrit has two tones a and a a and a clear okay now based on this a and a ah. so when you write these sounds in english you write the a uh, the short a without the dash on the top and the long a uh, sound or a ah sound we write with a dash on the top <clears throat> okay so this is a uh. this is a ah. again this is a uh. This is a, 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 and like I said, I'm just concentrating on sound A or the letter A. In English, we have only A. In Sanskrit, we have a and a. Clear? Is it okay? Fine. Since I'm not facing the screen, I have no idea what's happening on the screen side. So I'm just assuming that it is all okay with you. Okay, my easel is slipping. So just bear with me if it falls. Okay, so now let us take some simple yogic terms and try to understand the pronunciation. Let's start with yoga. Okay, so the yoga, it is not yoga. Understand this. It is yoga. It is not yoga. This is the first mistake that we all make while pronouncing yoga. Okay. Yoga. We call, we pronounce it yoga. But it is not yoga. It is yoga. So, there is an A sound at the end, but it is not an extended A. So, yoga. Now, I have seen many Indians or many even Western yoga teachers for some reason say or write yoga. But this is, according to me, this is not the right way to write yoga. Because when they write Y-O-G, they are completely, completely messing up with the sound G. Okay. Now, if I elaborate anything on that, it will be technical. But for now, this would be pronounced yoga. It is not yoga. It is yoga. Uh, it has to end with a A. But it is also not yoga. You understood this? 
so it is not yog it is not yoga it is yog is this clear yoga yoga uh, you see that g is ending with a sound a uh. yoga not yoga not yog yoga if you extend that it becomes yoga a uh. it's it ends with a a uh. clear so whenever you want to call this word term call it yoga yoga sutra you see even in the sutra i am pronunciate pronunciate pronouncing a uh, yoga sutra not yoga sutra okay not yog sutra okay fine now i i hope you have understood this now let's take some other terms <clears throat> well now we have three a sounds here so how do we pronounce them a s n a s n not a sa na many people many non indians pronounce it as asana okay i'll remove this asana it is not asana it is a s n okay a s n next term don't ask me any questions because i cannot see you i am facing my back camera now another simple word ram you must have heard of this person or god okay how do you pronounce this again there are two sounds ra m so the long a in the second place short a in the fourth place ra m not rama okay rama will happen but when another word comes in it could happen rama like ramayana okay but only when another word comes in after that but individually by itself this term is not rama this is ram ra second a is long and fourth a or the second uh, fourth place a is short all right what else do we have <clears throat> yoga teachers must have heard this word so how do you pronounce it y m that's it there is no extended term here no extended sounds it is not yama it is not yama it is y m and same with ni yama ni yama okay now what else do we have dhi 
ध्यान ध्यान अगेन टू ए साउंड वन इज लॉन्ग अदर इज शॉर्ट नाउ व्हाई दिस इज लॉन्ग व्हाई दिस इज शॉर्ट दैट कम्स यू विल नो दैट व्हेन यू स्टडी द रूट्स और द ओरिजिन्स ऑफ द वर्ड्स ओके बट फॉर नाउ लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड द राइट वे टू प्रोनाउंस ध्या न नॉट ध्याना ओके ध्या न ध्या न ना नेक्स्ट टर्म धा र ना धा र ना देर आर थ्री ए साउंड्स द फर्स्ट ए इज लॉन्ग सेकेंड ए इज शॉर्ट थर्ड ए इज लॉन्ग धा र ना धा र ना धा र ना ओके नेक्स्ट आई एम जस्ट गोइंग टू पतंजलीज एट लिम्स ध्यान 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 ओके good what else do we have some important word see there are four a's here okay so pra na ya ma not pranayama okay not pranayama again this is something i have heard a lot of non indians say pranayama but it is not pranayama it is pranayama okay then same with but pran प्राण नॉट प्राणा अगेन दिस इज अ वेरी कॉमन मिस प्रोनाउंसिएशन प्राणा देर इज नो प्राणा इन प्राणा ओके सो प्राण 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 ऑल्सो इफ यू वॉन्ट अ लर्न संस्कृत यू हैव टू लर्न टू रोल यूर आर्स देर आर मेनी आर्स इन संस्कृत सो प्राण लाइक माय नेम प्र साद यू सी नाउ इन माय नेम देर आर टू एज द फर्स्ट ए इज शॉर्ट सेकेंड ए इज लॉन्ग प्र साद एंड इन प्राण प्राण नॉट प्राणा नॉट प्राणा प्राण प्रसाद ओके नाउ सेम गोज विथ टू और थ्री अदर टर्म्स अनदर टर्म दैट वी यूज क्वाइट अ लॉट गैस मंत्र नॉट मंत्रा मंत्रा रॉन्ग it is not mantra it is mantra okay mantra 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 and same with chakra both the a's are short chak 
चक्र चक्र नॉट चक्रा रॉन्ग आई हैव सीन इवन इंडियंस हु हैव स्टडीड द इंडियन लैंग्वेजेस दे आल्सो कॉल्ड इट चक्रा इट इज नॉट चक्रा दिस इज रॉन्ग सेम विथ तंत्र तंत्र अगेन टू एज बोथ आर शॉर्ट तंत्र नॉट तंत्रा रॉन्ग सो मंत्र चक्र तंत्र मंत्र चक्र तंत्र नॉट मंत्रा नॉट चक्रा नॉट तंत्रा एंड आई हैव हर्ड सम पीपल से तंत्रा दैट इज इवन रॉन्ग इट इज तंत्र इट इज चक्र क्लियर गुड लेट एस टेक अ फ्यू मोर टर्म्स Shiva, we've taken Rama, so let's take Shiva. Now, if you take, many people say Shiva. No, it is not Shiva. It is Shiva. There is an a uh sound, so we have to. It's not Shiv. It is Shiva. It is not Shiva. It is not Shiv. It is Shiva. So that a uh sound is there at the end, but it is short. Shiva, Ram, Shiva, Ram. Not Shiva, not Rama. Okay. But, but. we have a goddess called as durga understand this usually usually with female uh, gender or uh, female uh, name of girls and women the ending is longer okay so durga because durga becomes something else durga means fort but if you want to call a woman whose name is durga it is durga okay same with sita same with sita durga okay so not durga not sita there are words in sanskrit like durga durga is a word there is a word called sita there is a word called sita but when the names of these goddesses is sita and durga okay <clears throat> what else um okay now we have 1 2 3 again how many three a sounds so how do we pronounce this sa dh na sa dh na sa dh na okay there's another word if you studied the upanishads now here we have again three a sounds so what do we do a nan da not ananda 
okay it can become ananda i am not saying it will not become ananda like a girl's name can be ananda okay but when you talk about ananda as bliss it is not ananda it is ananda 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 okay there is another feminine term again coming from the upanishads and vedanta you must have seen this term it is maya 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 okay then we have some other words what are they let's see mm. let's take the sankhya okay just one a sound but purusha not purusha not purusha again it comes to my mind another common term i have seen a lot of mistakes made in pronunciation ayurveda not ayurveda not ayurveda 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 okay what else do we have mm. what other words do we have okay we will take the last word and the last limb of patanjali not patanjali patanjali is yoga you know this sa madhi sa madhi sa madhi okay all right now last for sure because samadhi reminds me of something it is the three gunas so we'll quickly take them how do you pronounce this guna not guna no not guna 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 now what are the three gunas sattva not sattva sattva then rajas rajas not rajas rajas means something else okay okay if you want to know what rajas means rajas literally means menstruation okay so just call it rajas hmm and tamas so there is no second or long a over here sattva rajas tamas there is no long a guna sattva rajas tamas there is no guna sattva raja raja rajas i have seen many i have heard many people say rajas no it's not the guna is not called rajas and tamas okay so with these four words we will end our live session for today but what i will do now is we will not like really end the live session we'll have fun we'll keep having fun uh, so what i will do now is i'm going to flip my camera 
and face you and then if you have any questions you can ask okay so just give me a moment Hey, so I hope you all understood what I had to say. So now if you want, you can ask questions. And thank you for uh, thank you for being in the room. Uh, thank you for being uh, my guinea pigs for my live session now if you have any questions you can ask i don't know can you please pronounce shavasana okay okay shavasana not shavasana 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 okay any other pronunciations that i may have missed please ask Shavasana. Because the ending, Petra, the, the ending is like asana. So it is made of two words, Shava and Asana. So Shavasana. Once again, tell me how to pronounce Pranayama. Pranayama. Okay. And then Abhyasa, not Abhyasa, Abhyasa. Sarvangasana. Remember, all most of the asana names end with this the word asana. Right? There's a prefix and there's a suffix. The suffix is asana, and the pronunciation of asana is the same. Asana. Okay, not asana. Asana. Okay. Anything else? Let me know. I'll be here for another one minute. So now, so now uh, I'm going to quickly uh, like recapitulate. Okay, in Sanskrit we have two a sounds, a and a. So the pronunciation of a sounds need to be uh, kept in mind like asana so in this word asana there are three a's, a's right so the first a is long a a and s and n so the vowel like a has two types of pronunciations short a and long a a and a okay and based on the short a and long a the pronunciations will differ by the way i just want to leave you with a small uh, what you call um, interesting fact and that fact is the short and long of a vowel is denoted by how long it takes for you to blink for example see this is the beauty in sanskrit language the a uh should take one blink as much time as one blink the a uh should take as much time as two blinks okay so remember that a uh and a uh. So, one batting of an eyelid is a, two bats of an eyelid is a, okay? 
and then there are three bats also there's we will not go into that it's called pluta pluta means three the the pluta we use for om huh? much more extended sound but i will not go into that now okay so i hope you have had some fun and i had fun and thanks for being here um take care i'm going to do more of such lives because i'm sitting at home and doing nothing anyway so i thought i would connect so thank you and bye bye